Can he be the hero again? <laughs> you can't believe this game. At Collingwood, how does this hat keep happening? The chasing teams down. Collingwood win by four. Collingwood are on top for a reason. The Magpies have won. Three, two, siren. I think it's more other teams get scared as well, I'd say. It's in the back of all the teams' minds. Mm. Like, we're going to come for you this last quarter. We're going to chase you down and 100%. get that win. Um, yeah, and then it's just belief in us that we can have a bad quarter, but we can still win the game. And we did it a lot last year, Did have done it a few times this year. But now this year, sometimes it's your third, sometimes it's yeah. your first, sometimes yeah, your second. Weird. Yeah, just whenever we want to play, we do. Yeah, yeah. you make the other team look like they <laughs> give up. Here's Dawson at his hundredth, toppled over by Isaac Prater. Oh, so it's, just not, crazy. it's not good. I'd rather not do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Everyone's asked you, but how much do you reckon it's driven from fly? Yeah, was it? how much is it him? Oh, I'd say lots him. Drives the culture, drives every individual player to get the best out of themselves. Uh, the belief that mm. we'll fight to the very end. We train it all preseason, even every session during the week now, we're still having one on one contests and it shows like mm. we just, we'll, we'll, we will fight. Like we got Braden Maynard who would kill. Mm. Like, that honestly, is- he'll tell you. He's doing, he's doing yeah. like UFC call outs as well. What was he? Did he say the other day after the. Um, oh, he was like, we're coming for Port yeah, or whatever. No, we'll port, bring <laughs> your best. Yeah. Bring yeah, your best. You better, yeah. It's good. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to finish on? How many have you won? Uh, Where, this will come out next week. Two, so. The rest of them. The rest yeah. of them. 15. Yeah. yeah. So you, you're going to finish probably. There's a good chance you'll finish higher than Geelong last year in, in wins. Yeah. It's like almost 19 potentially. You still have the potential to win 22 not, games. 22 games, really? Yeah, because it's 24 round year, isn't it? It's a yeah. long year, yeah. You have yep. the potential. Yeah. That would be that would be rare air. Yeah. Pretty good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the nicest guy in the world, but I I've I, I famously really struggle with Collingwood because I worked at the for uh, worked at the MCG from about 2007 to 2012 and um that fucking song <laughs> just constantly <laughs> throughout. Say, did someone mouth you or something? Oh like man, you can't. Players, yeah, you probably didn't have an experience. Who did you grow for growing up? Uh, bombers. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe you might have felt it on an Anzac Day or something like that. But mm. when Collingwood win, they're, they're, your fan base are brutal. Mm. Like they're so engaged, and um, like there's just so many of them. So they're, just, they're just like they're just so so full on. I met, but I met everyone. If you meet a Collingwood fan individually. They're all really nice. Yes, but yeah, as soon as they get in a group together, <laughs> that mob mentality. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And they genuinely think, and they probably do affect games. They yeah. think they affect games. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And so like the, the 19th minute. Yeah. Like, yeah. hundred yeah. percent. They do yeah. though. Like whenever they would, they're going yeah. those chants and whatever. Mm-hmm. As you said, with the comebacks, mm. it's like the fa- the fans get loud. It and makes and when, other teams nervous. So. When I speak to Collingwood fans as well, they're like, they now sit in the third quarter and they might, you might be down by 20 and they're like, we're good. Yeah, chill. <laughs> Which is like I was watching my team down by 20. I was like, I'm getting on the train. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Clifton Hill. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Grouse House Podcast. Get a big dog up, you Collingwood.